I found the best center build on NBA 2K25. If you want to shoot over those like we're back on those shot creating stretches from 2K19, man, we found the build. My seven foot stretch can shoot over anybody on the floor at any time. Let's go ahead and get into it though. We're gonna show you guys two variations of the build, one that gets more rebounding and one that gets more speed. You guys can decide which one you wanna use. But let's start off with the one that gets the most rebound. So up first, we're gonna be a center seven foot, 269 pounds with a seven foot wingspan. Now I'm gonna start off in the speed, agility, strength, and vertical category because those are tied to other categories that help us get badges. So we're gonna start off with a 65 speed and a 45 agility. Then we're gonna get a 91 strength on this build, which will give us that gold brick wall for setting big body screens. Then we're gonna get that 80 vertical, which is gonna be important for getting rebounds. Do not undervalue vertical this year on your center's builds. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to the finishing category and start with the basics. This build, we're looking to get the wide open dunks on the slips and back doors, as well as just on the fast break when we simply have to dunk the basketball. We're not looking to posterize our opponent because we are a shooting stretch center. So at first, we're gonna go with an 88 close shot. Now this is here strictly because of our mid-range shot, but you will see that here in a second. It does give us our silver paint prodigy though, to allow us to make those close shots when we don't dunk the ball. Then for our layup and our driving dunk, this is gonna stay at 65 and 45. And then our stand dunk is going to go to an 81 for that silver rise up badge, which is very useful. And then we're gonna keep our post control at 63. Now this build will be able to dunk the ball very well in the paint. I actually do have an inside with a lot of pass accuracy for 5v5 that only has an 81 stand dunk. And I feel very good on that build dunking the ball. Now, this is where this build becomes very powerful. Now, this is a seven foot stretch. Nobody can contest you because the contest system is broken in this game. If they put a hand up, if they stand in front of you, they will not get a contest. The only way they get a contest is if they time their jump. So we're going to go with a 93 mid range shot on this build, which gives us Hall of Fame set shot specialist as well as gold dead eye. Now this Hall of Fame set shot specialist, I will be plus wanting this to get legend. Legend set shot specialist on a seven footer is absolutely insane. Then our three ball, we're gonna get an 83 three ball for the bronze limitless badge. Now this badge honestly feels useless. I did hear from 2K Labs that there was a higher green window at 82. If you guys wanna try 82, feel free to go with an 82 three ball here. But I know a lot of the casuals and stuff, you guys love seeing those badges. So we're going to go with the 83 three ball on this build. Shooting on this build feels better than any other build that I've had in NBA 2K25. I'm able to shoot over basically any opponent just like I was able to do in NBA 2K19 with those shot creating stretch scores when Duke Dennis created over those. That's why I love this build so much. Shooting is 10 times better than you could ever imagine. You're able to catch and shoot from the corners, from the top of the key, from the wing. In fact, if you make this build at 6'10", you get shifty shooters, so you can even shoot fading shots. Literally, it is uncontestable. Unless you are playing starting five and you run into Giannis or any other guy that's like six foot 11 with an 80 plus perimeter D, which is actually impossible to get on a build in the park. That's what makes this build so broken. Nobody that is actually tall enough to get a contest can actually get a high enough perimeter D in the build system that we have. So those guys that are six foot seven, six foot eight, they can't contest you. Yes, those 6'10", 6'11", 7 footers can contest you, but guess what? They don't get high enough perimeter defense to be able to get challenger to contest you. So that's why shooting on this build feels so much better than any other build in the game. Also, if you accompany that with a great jump shot, you will be able to just be absolutely chicken. You know, those, those Jonathan Isaac bases and a couple other bases I actually have in my most recent jump shot video. If you have not checked that jump shot video out, make sure to go check it out on my channel. Now, up next, we're going to talk about pass accuracy. This is where I love this build. We get a 90 pass ac on this build. Now, this 90 is actually going to be a 93 because of my cap breakers, which will give me Hall of Fame break starter as well as Hall of Fame dimer. For those that do not have cap breakers, just go 90 for now until you get your cap breakers and then cap breaker this to 93. 
This bit will be able to throw those deep outlet passes on the break, as well as throw some absolute steamers to your opponents in the corner, as well as throw some absolute steamers to your teammates, allowing them to green every single shot because you have Hall of Fame Dimer and Hall of Fame Break Starter. Oh, and on top of that, your Dimer is a tier two badge, which means you can use your plus one there to get Legend Dimer on your seven foot center. The passing on this build feels amazing. The 90 plus pass sack is better than any other build that I have in this game, accompanied with Legend Dimer, opens the green window up for your teammates, allowing your teammates to knock down every single shot. Legend Dimer gives such a massive boost to green windows that playing with those IRLs is going to allow them to make more shots when they play with you. That way you guys win more games. Up next, we got interior defense. Interior they did nerf it. I'm not going to lie. 74 interior was very good before season two came out. But after season two, they made it where you need an 82 interior to get that silver paint patroller minimal. You will see here shortly with our block that we're going to do just fine with the 82 interior defense. That gives us the silver post lockdown, which will be super important to stop drop steps as well as getting rips on drop steps. And we're going to get a 60 steal so we get that bare minimal threshold for the bronze interceptor. For our block, we're going to push this all the way up to a 93, which gives us our gold paint patroller, which makes this build very overpowered because we get a lot of stops on dunks in the paint. Up next, we have our offensive rebound and our defensive rebound. Now, this is where the build has the biggest separation when you go for speed, or you go for a rebounding. There's no middle ground in between. For our rebounding, you're gonna go with a 93 offensive board on this build because it is cheaper for O board than D board. And then you're gonna go with an 80 defensive rebound. That 93 though is gonna be plus three, so we will get Hall of Fame rebound chaser and Hall of Fame box out beats. So this build gets legend shooting badges with Hall of Fame rebounding badges. I mean, you can't ask for much more. And on top of that, you do get gold brick wall, which you could eventually cap breaker to get Hall of Fame brick wall once you hit that too. As well as being a seven foot stretch, nobody can contest you. Those six, seven, six, eight poppers are never gonna get a contest on you at all being a seven footer. Those last few attributes, we're gonna throw in a free throw. That way we get a 73 free throw, allowing us to knock down our free throws consistently in 5v5 settings, such as the rep or the pro win. Now this build is a phenomenal all around center build. It can dunk the ball properly. Obviously it is a lights out shooter. You will get stops. You can throw those deep bombs. You have legend shooting badges, legend playmaking badges, as well as Hall of Fame rebounding badges. This build comes out with shades of Jack Sigma, Yusuf Nurkic, and Sabonis. With the name two-way three-level playmaker, I really don't see this one very often. But let's go ahead and show you guys the other variation that I use for the park to play twos and threes, and even the stage. Okay, so for this next variation of this build, I prefer to run this build with a double center lineup. I like to play with a 6-7 popper that has really good rebounding because this build does struggle on the boards. When playing an inside, if I'm not playing an inside and I get position, I'm not gonna lie, I still get the rebound every single time having an 80 rebound and plus wanting it to gold rebound chaser. Gold rebound chaser is more than enough in the park on the twos and the threes, especially against other casual players. I'm still dogging people with my 80 rebound and my 80 burt, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now being on the threes, we love having this speed. We get a 73 speed with a 62 agility. This build is super fast at seven foot. And then we do get an 85 vertical with a 92 strength. Right off the rip, our speed, agility, and strength and vertical categories are maxed out. I love having that on a seven footer. Now we're gonna go to our finishing. We're gonna get an 84 close shot, which gives us that silver paint prodigy that we talked about on the last build, which allows us to just finish around the rim whenever we don't get a dunk animation. And then for our standing dunk, we're gonna put this up to an 81 to still get that silver rise up. This build does get a better driving dunk and a better driving layup. That 70 driving dunk is fun and exciting. And then we also get the 81 stand dunk to be able to dunk the ball every single time under the rim. Our post control isn't too flashy. We get that 62 post because of our strength. Now for mid range, we're gonna set this to 88 and we will be cap breakering this to 93 to get all of the same shooting badges that we just got on our last build. Now this one does get a higher three ball. We are going with an 85 three ball in this build because that is the next best green window besides 82. So we will get legend set shot specialist as well as gold dead eye when we have that 93 mid range, as you can see here. But we are cap breaking to get that 93 mid range, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. 
Shooting on this build feels better than any other build in NBA 2K. You are absolutely uncontestable on the floor. The dead eye compared with the set shot specialist makes your green window larger than any other build in the game, besides obviously the builds with the 99 three ball. But from that 80 to 95 window, it doesn't get much better than this. And you're seven foot, like we said, so you're uncontestable. Passing on this build is going to be amazing as well. We're gonna go with a 91 pass act here and use our plus one from the season pass to get a 92, which will give us our Hall of Fame Dimer as well as Gold Break Starter. Now, I don't really need a Hall of Fame Break Starter because this build is not really going to be used in a 5v5 scenario. This is more for park threes and twos. If you're going to play fives mostly and playing the five, you're going to need at least a 90 plus rebounding stat on your center. Now, for our interior defense, we're going to go with an 82 interior just like we did on our last build. Our perimeter is going to go all the way up to a 62. Our steel is going to go all the way up to a 60. And our block is going to go all the way up to a 93. Now, as you can see, this build is gonna move much faster laterally for the threes in case we get switched onto the ball and we need to be able to get a stop on our seven footer. And also when we're in situations where we're playing with a six, seven popper who would actually be paying the back end on defense, you're gonna be guarding the twos for the other team on this seven foot center because you're not gonna to wanna to be in the PNR situation. It's just like you see on the 10K court where people are playing with seven foot insides in a six, seven popper. The seven foot inside is actually guarding the guy in the corner on defense. He's not actually playing the center position on the defense. So you're able to hide this build defensively. But this build will work defensively playing the threes and the twos, you don't have to hide it. Now for offensive rebound, we are gonna move this all the way up to an 80, and our defense is gonna go up to a 76, which will cap the build out. You will get gold rebounding badges if you use your plus one for rebound chaser. You get gold brick wall to set big body screens. You get that gold paint patroller, as well as Hall of Flame behind Flying Denier, which you could plus one to get legend. You're gonna get that Hall of Fame Dimer badge, as well as gold break starter. You're gonna get legend set shot specialist with your tier one plus one, as well as gold dead eye. You get that silver rise up and that silver paint prodigy. This build comes out with shades of Bill Lambeer, Chat Homegrown, and Brooke Lopez. It's also gonna be called a two way three level playmaker. If you guys found this video useful, man, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment them down below. We will see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy Hollywood. Peace.